139 years ago, my great-great-grandfather sat with other chieftains of our nation to make treaty with representatives of the Queen. We come from a very proud nation. The indigenous people of Canada were still here in spite of all the many ways that have been set out to maybe erase us or get people to forget about us, and even sometimes to try and get us to forget about us. But we're still here. This song I'm going to sing is called the Women's Warrior Song. This song has become, a, in a sense, an anthem to honor the missing and murdered Indigenous women of Canada. I am a second generation survivor of the Grand Holocaust in the Second World War. I found people that are survivors of the largest Holocaust ever, and a kind of Holocaust that nobody wants to talk about. That was the American Holocaust. These are the people that were there, and I decided that all the commissioned works would be connected to these people. I always felt that we owe it, we owe it to them. came to North America 500 years ago, the estimated population of North America was about 40 million. And through mostly through disease, 90% uh, of their population was wiped out. And it wasn't all accidental either, it was intentional. I've researched uh, stories of uh, British generals, shamefully, who sent smallpox infected garments to communities to deliberately kill off the population. It's really shocking. And it's shameful, and I'm British, so I feel that. But the other movements are fun. <laughs> <laughs> and joyful. It doesn't feel like the energy is right when you start. I think it, it should be really meditative, but with so much strength, you know? Excellent. 
just the beginning of not not although it is a bit of the tiorari, you know not 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 hesitating okay. so much. But this is so much better. <laughs> Can I play with you? are the people of the land, the, the indigenous people of that land. I have no other place to call home. I declare that I have a voice today, and I'm going to say and sing and do what I want with my voice. To me, it, it's very fitting that we can come and stand in this very place to be able to say, we're still here. We were joking earlier and we were saying, imagine the decisions that were made in this place and the decisions that impacted our people. You know, even to this day, we're still feeling the effects of it, of colonization. I'm thankful we will experience beautiful works by artists who have been inspired by the stories, the songs of the indigenous nations of my land that we call Canada. <laughs> work in isolation for so many hours, hundreds of hours, so it's thrilling, thrilling occasion. That introduction of the native people, I was so moved to hear that and then for my piece to follow afterwards, I almost was in tears. Of course I didn't want to make um, uh, folk song arrangements. I, I wrote my music, uh, but influenced by the, the tunes and rhythm of, uh, of the Blackfoot folk music.
really, really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was very well done, and they were all young musicians, and that's really encouraging. It's very moving to hear the first uh, uh, speaker talk about Canada, you know, in a kind of dispassionate way. But actually, you know, we were the conquerors and we were the invaders and continue to be so. And uh, for them to come back to the really the, the bastion of colonial power, it is very resonating and very moving. I think being in this building is, is you know, it's a little bit of a, um, almost a bit of a coup if you want to call it that, you know, to be able to say, you know what, we, we sang the Women's Warrior song in a place that historically would never, ever have heard that song. And you know what? It was through music. That's what brought us here, was music. Names are very powerful. In our, where we come from, names have, have high significance. And, and we all told you our Indian names. So today we're going to bestow a name for Rivka. The name that we have chosen comes from her beautiful work as, as an artist and as a real believer in, in spirit, where music will take us. And so from that and from here on you will know this young lady as the woman who sings in a high place. Okay, one more time. She's one of us. <laughs> oh, we're going to take her home. <laughs> the enrichment I got, I have no doubt that this is a great, great gift that we all got and get from you. And it's something to share and cherish. <laughs>